We all know that no child is born with hate. Hate is taught. We must pay attention to hate speech. What it can do, its capacity to completely destroy, its capacity to completely dehumanize. We need to understand that no society in the world is immune from hate speech. I've just come back from Cox Bazaar in Bangladesh and I spent a um, lot of time among the Rohingya people. His speech was employed to dehumanize the Rohingya, referring to them as subhuman, referring to them as fleas, referring to them as thorns that needed to be removed. And ultimately, that is precisely what happened. By the time they arrived in Bangladesh, they had gone through decades of torture, decades of displacement, decades of dehumanization. And this hate speech that has been employed is something that we must pay attention to. There's a lot of information on Bosnia-Herzegovina, on what happened in Srebrenica. The hate speech that preceded and accompanied the killing of the men and boys in Srebrenica. There is a lot of information on the Tutsi in Rwanda and the moderate Hutu. And the hate speech that was used to describe the Tutsi, how they were dehumanized. We need to look at uh, what happened to the Jews during the Holocaust. We need to see how much his speech was employed to the extent that propaganda really was just spewing out his speech against the Jews, describing them in ways that were designed to make it possible for the ordinary person on the street to just get out and participate in either killing the Jews or reporting on them or getting rid of them. So. My message really to everybody is that genocides happen within communities. Genocides happen to you and me. When a genocide unfolds, the people targeted are people who are ordinary and we must keep paying specific attention to. The narratives that we pass on from one generation to the other, they are narratives uh, in which communities share um, the trauma they experienced and they pass it on to their children.